So for example, you know, I have people come and tell me like, yeah, everybody cheats, cheats on me, or I always meet these people that they steal from me or they cheat on me or, or somehow I get the short end of the stick in any kind of business um, um, transaction I get involved in. So, so this person's mentality and thoughts and the thought pattern has gone into this area of same thoughts of everybody's cheating me. Everybody is dishonest. So as a result, their reality becomes that. So they encounter and they draw different kind of people in their lives that they're not honest with them and they cheat them. So they get to validate this pattern over and over again. Okay? So, and this pattern is not going to break until presence, awareness comes in, comes into the equation. Uh, when the presence, the awareness comes into the occasion, then it creates space. And in that creating of the space, what happens is the mind gets disengaged. Um, the awareness comes in and the person who's aware, the watcher, the witness, begins through the space that has been created, begins to see the mind. Okay? You begin to see your mind. And that's tremendous. Because majority of people on the planet, uh, they can't see their mind. They have absolutely no idea, no uh, understanding that their thinking mind is ruling them and their emotions. They're completely being ruled by it. Hence, they follow the wrong leaders and they go to war and they do all kinds of uh, crimes and they do all kinds of stuff. Or because they're so involved into this aspect of existence and they're so um, much believe in it, they're completely identified with it, you know. They commit crimes, killing, raping other people, or whatever, stealing from other people, manipulating other people. And this has been going on and on and on throughout the history of mankind. But every once in a while, what happens is all of a sudden, somehow, for whatever reason, that I can't really explain it because I don't know, that space comes, uh, the presence comes, the majesty, the supreme soul enters and breaks into the karmic will that we're stuck into. Because this karmic will that we're talking about is really an identification with thoughts. When we really identify with our thoughts, and we really believe that we're our thinking mind, then we get stuck into this thing, and then it, and then we're going through this karmic will. Uh, Shishi, are you able to look at the Facebook Live uh, questions? Maybe we can answer yeah. them too. Yeah. So, but um, I have a question here. Let me answer this question from Rosalie. Okay, Rosalie, I'm going to um, actually unmute you so you can ask me your question. Yeah, I see that many, many people when about win and lose in life and they press themselves down when things don't go their way and they think, I'm a loser, but I don't see any as a loser. As my mantra is that I win or I learn. Right. 
Okay, so is that a question or you just want to share with me? I, I wanted to share it and I wanted to people that nobody should press himself down as a loser. Okay, all right. Okay. But I don't see any as a loser. Right. Okay, Th thanks. Thanks, sweetheart. Yeah, you have anything for me, Shishi? I'm okay. Okay. Okay, we have here, hi, Fahang, nice to see you. Uh, Fahang is saying, you attract what you're thinking. So, so basically, because we're awareness, and awareness is unlimited, we're infinite beings, and it depends where the attention of this awareness goes, is that wherever... You know, when you get really focused on something, your attention goes on one thing. And then that thing becomes your reality. That thing is what is going on for you in that moment. But then again, back to what I was talking about, meditation, uh, what it does is in a correct way we're meditating and we're trained to do it but not robotically because i also have to say a lot of people do their meditation robotically or because it's cool or it's because it's something it's a practice they do that but really what it is is the whole idea of it is to help you directing you in this direction to pointing as your pointer to make you realize the vastness of space which is available which is here and you're a part of it this vastness of space of the presence that it disengaging from the thoughts you're your thinking uh, stream of thoughts that's going through your mind and also emotions that are traveling through you all the time from recognizing the two and kind of pulling yourself away from it through meditation and coming back to yourself coming back to this place of presence that you're just hanging out in here and you're not bored, okay? You're not irritated or you're not angry. You're simply are in this place. And then what happens is you begin to experience something very beautiful happen. That the moment of life begins to give you the nectar of this moment of pure presence of being.